Thank you, Mr. President. I declare a personal interest in connection with Colombia, given that my third son has got a Colombian godfather, as well as having two friends who are sporting heroes, Robert Farah and Juan Sebastian Cabal, who have both won a back-to-back -back in the men's doubles in tennis. Another great achievement delivered three years ago was President Santos, who signed the peace accord with the left-wing terrorist militia group known as FARC. After decades of violence, it took real courage and leadership to bring FARC to the political process and give them 10 unelected seats in Congress. We now see a peace agreement under threat as elements of the FARC renege on the accord and call for a new armed struggle. Aided by the thug Maduro in a neighboring Venezuela and funded by narco-trafficking, there is a real danger. Colombia could lurch back into the dark days of the past. So it's now imperative that President Duque remains resolute and does not buckle to the threats of renewed violence from FARC. Of one thing I'm certain, though, the EU has no right, moral authority, or treaty obligation to interfere in the affairs of Colombia. It is an independent sovereign state, and EU foreign policy mission creep is neither necessary nor desirable. Thank you, Mr. Roland.